Okay, so yeah, I got all these appliances pieces attached to me. Um, I was just gonna blog about this real quick because, um, I was sitting here and I was just like messing around on the computer and I was, you know, just hanging out. And I started thinking about it and I was like, you know, I have these actual dressings on my incisions that have been there since I got the surgery done. And I just started thinking about it more and more and more and I was like, I wonder if, you know, I'm supposed to change those too because they got wet whenever I was changing the gauze and, um, you know, what if they're breeding bacteria? And so I just kept like dwelling on it and dwelling on it and dwelling on it and getting more and more worried. And I was like, oh no, like, like how fast is an infection, you know, start and how, you know, how fast is it spread? And I was just like panicking and just so worried. And I called the emergency room. <clears throat> I called the emergency room or the doctor, the hospital to try to, um, you know, get them to let me know what I'm supposed to do. Or if I call, talk to the doctor, and they're like, well, you need to call the doctor's office, um, you know, and get to their answering service because there's somebody that's always on call to talk to you about those things. And I'm like, but there's not. I, I call them, so I'll call them again. So I call them, and it gives me to an, um, an, uh, 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 an automated message saying, this service isn't available, um, you know, your call would all be disconnected. Um, after a whole bunch of other crap it says in between that, not giving me any other phone number to call or anything, and I'm like, great. And, in, and meanwhile, like, I've been calling the doctor off and on throughout the day, asking him questions, well, the nurse, but I'm, you know, not, I'm obviously not thinking of all the questions to ask, and it just, it sucks too, because, you know, not only am I not thinking of all the questions I need to ask, you know, they're not volunteering any extra tips. <laughs> any extra information that might help me out, you know, just things that might be nice to know, you know, they're, they're, they're not letting me know any of that, you know, they didn't give me any instructions, and, you know, I was doing my best not to complain and just be a good patient and, you know, abide and, and do what I'm supposed to do to take care of everything, but now, like, at times like this, I'm like, well, it's after hours, and what the fuck am I supposed to do, like, I just had all my help leave. You know, all my help that it helps me change my bandages and stuff, you know, they're already gone for the night and, you know, meanwhile I'm worried about a damn infection. <laughs> so anyway, so I freak out, needless to say, and I unwrap my bandages again. Or I just changed them a little bit ago. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's like tape. You know, just, just tape. I thought it was like some gauze with some tape over it. And I'm thinking, oh well, shit, I don't know what to do. So I start going ahead and peeling a piece of tape off. I get one layer of tape off my right one. And I'm like, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, why would they put tape on an incision? That seems like a terrible idea. They just put tape straight down on an incision. Like, that's just bad. I, don't really, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but this just doesn't seem like a good idea. And so I go, um... To Google and I'm like, you know what, let me look this up real quick before I remove anything else. And so I put removing surgical tape. And I realized that they do close some incisions with tape. Stary strips. I did not know this. So, so now I'm even more freaked out because I ripped a layer of tape off and I'm like, oh fuck, did I fuck it up? Is it gonna fucking you know, I just, I, so now I'm, I'm really, really scared, but I'm just gonna take it really easy and just lay here and chill out and call them first thing in the morning and ask them, like, look, do I need to come in so I can check it out um, and put more tape on it or whatever, or just leave it alone until Thursday, you know, what do I do? So if anybody has any um, tips or comments, you know, let me know. Um, of course, I'm not going to do anything different than what I've done, because I feel like I've done enough. But, um, some encouragement 
some comments and of encouragement from you guys would be nice uh, because I am really uh, sitting here thinking about things like this gets me in trouble. It gets me all worried and thinking like, you know, and here I am picking at tape trying to fucking that I'm obviously not supposed to remove. So, um, anyways, you know, give me something to talk about. <laughs> something that y'all want to know about me or anything my opinion on anything for that matter um so yeah just let me know end video